wonderful good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mona Lee. I'll be your moderator for the next 20 minutes. I invite you to have a coffee or tea uh, on the house. There are two lovely ladies walking around and will serve you with the drinks. Our topic will uh, regard hydrogen compression. We'll not only talk about hydrogen compression, but, but um, specific kind, we'll talk about electrochemical compression. Uh, and for that, please welcome with me on stage the Managing Director of Anleg GmbH, Mr. Jan Andreas. Welcome, Mr. Andreas. Thank you. <coughs> so, um, Anleg is a company with quite a different background, but a relevant background. Uh, could you please tell us about the core business of the company? Yes, um, Anle Company um, has in the past done a seal gas supply system for tubo compressors on the natural gas net. So at the, you know that every 500, 600 kilometers on gas pipeline, you have to recompress this. And for this one, for this, you, you need special sealing systems to be able to, to avoid leakages towards the outlet side. And Anleg is doing special seal gas systems, so we are used to develop and produce customized solutions and single solutions. So who are your customers, your core customers? Our core customers, a good example is the uh, natural gas pipeline through the Baltic Sea, Nord Stream, where we had the exclusivity to produce the seal su supply gas systems for this pipeline. So pipeline customers and, and petrochemical and oil industry. Okay, so just not to confuse the audience, we are not going to talk about <laughs> gas today. Uh, we want to know your touch points with the hydrogen technology. Yeah, yeah. In the past, um, you, you know, oil, oil, oil customer industry is is very related to the barrel price. So, in order to avoid this sinusoid uh, turnover and and projects, we took the decision to look on the hydrogen market, which is a, a, a very interesting market and a growing market for us in order to, to, to develop new solutions for, for this market. Okay, mm. so um, how exactly, what does your company do with hydrogen? Yeah. Exactly, what, what, what do you do? Do you <laughs> compress hydrogen? Good question, I would also like to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we, we, are, we, are, we have started um, to develop s small solutions on, 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 on hydrogen infrastructure, compressors, and then we found out that there are some special components missing like valves, thermal pressure relief devices, and we ended up in a development project funded by the FCHU, or Copernic, where we had the opportunity to develop a non-tank valve dedicated to hydrogen storage tanks on vehicles. But in the, f in the near yeah, past, we also developed thermal pressure relief devices and uh, complete tank systems. So. For those of you who would like to know, so we need hydrogen to, uh, we need to, if we want to store energy <coughs> and we want to, uh, we need to compress the hydrogen. So hydrogen is a gas, otherwise it would be just flowing around the air and we can't really use it. So that's why we compress hydrogen. Yeah. But however, <coughs> whenever uh, you compress, uh, you use a compressor, then you might have abrasion or also you will have oil and that's really sensitive for the hydrogen so uh, what can we do to get really pure hydrogen yeah that was the the the, the basic idea is that uh, we have of course the classical compression with with diaphragms which are hydraulic compressors gas boosters and all this kind and and we were looking for aeronautical application to find a compressor solution which is able to guarantee the quality of the hydrogen without getting any particles and without any probability of particles in on the compressed side. And that's where we find out that electrochemical compression could be something very interesting. And we had the chance by a small governmental funded project, Hyper, with a research institute hired in Schwerin to start the development of an, of an electrical compressor because this is for me the only compression where we can guarantee uh, the gas quality and the risk of any other particles which could damage the fuel cell. So once again, this is really new. This is an innovation. Mm -hmm. Electrochemical compression is something that I have never heard about. And this is, in fact, the first time uh, uh, we, we, we talk about this here at this fair. Um, so how briefly explain, how does this uh, new um, 
new way to compress hydrogen work. Yeah. It's, imagine a, a fuel cell where you don't put electricity in, uh, where you don't put hydrogen in, sorry, uh, but you just put uh, electricity in and you, you bring the, the, the hydrogen particles from one side to the, to, of, the, of the diaphragm of the, of, the, of, the, of the plate to the other via this electrical, uh, uh, electrical current and it's a non-reversible process so the molecules are going through a diaphragm where only the hydrogen molecules get through it the advantage is you are filtering at the same time the, you have the hydrogen molecules on the other side of the diaphragm and if you do this long enough you will start to have a compression on the outlet side of the diaphragm okay so in which field of application will electrochemical <coughs> compressions be most efficient <coughs> efficient i don't know to be honest we are in the beginning we are in the first yeah. stage of of development and of testing but i can imagine that on very high high safety level requirements this could be the solution it's it's where where the the the, the electricity of the of the fuel cell is doing very important electricity backup like in airplanes like in 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 health uh, environment where where it's absolutely necessary that 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 this system works without any failure because a failure would have eventually damage of people or or or, or uh, in other other very dangerous things um Mr. Andreas is also uh, happy to answer your questions. So if you have any questions, any questions from the audience, you can just raise your hands. I will come down to you and answer your questions. Um, you can also answer your questions later, or you can also recap and uh, go on our website and watch the video. <coughs> uh, just to let you know, by the way. Um, so you mentioned that you're... This is not a technology already on the market. Uh, you're still on the development <coughs> phase. So, what what are you wh where are you hoping to be with this uh, technology in let's say five years? Yeah, hopefully in five years we will be able to compress up to 500 or even 900 bar. The basic idea is to be able, as as it's a quite simple system, and we have we have not so much uh, be uh, components around this 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 solution is to be able to make small refueling stations or, or special refueling stations in, based on this technology using the uh, obsolete w in energy on the grid uh, where instead of shutting down windmills we could use this to compress hydrogen on, as, as backup power. And you mentioned before in our pre-talk that you already um, have a hydrogen fueling station. Yes, we have. We are building hydrogen refueling stations using classical compressor solutions. And yeah, it's also, of course, a business case in order not to do it like everybody, to f eventually find new technologies. I call it evolution. <laughs> and and to, to, to test new, new, new possibilities which could bring this business forward and this industry forward. Exactly. This industry, it is not a secret, <laughs> is very reluctant for let's say, the mass market. It seems like uh, we've been here for years now, but the hydrogen, uh, they're always new, inno they are innovation, and we seem to proceed, but it's very slowly. Um, so uh, for you as a supplier um, to deliver to the OEMs, um, it is vital that you, you will be only sufficient if you have an order of a quantity with 100,000. Um, otherwise, it's really difficult. There's lots of pressure. So what is needed so that the mass market is going rolling? Yeah, yeah we, we need... We cannot start with a mass market, so we have to grow up quickly with, this, with the market. And the basic idea is to, to in, in this field, to, to start with niche products and, 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 and small quantities and then eventually, if it's technically possible, to grow this up and bring this up to, 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 the, to the higher flow rate refueling stations. Or eventually, if, if it's allowed to, to think about this, is, is to, to, put the, to do the standard refueling stations for vehicles or buses based on this technology. Why not? Which would then, of course, increase the quantity and bring us the volume. So how do you imagine our hydrogen future? I'm 
doing hydrogen since 20 years now and I'm, I'm really convinced that this is a possibility for, for, for us or for, for all of us on this, on this beautiful planet to, to, to continue to have a flexible mobility and, and to be able to, to, to travel like we are doing like, like today but not polluting as much as we are doing today. That's a very uh, nice statement. And at this year's fair, what are you looking forward to? Who do you, would you like to work with? What, what, what are you observing? What are you doing this year? <coughs> this year, of course, we, 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 we are looking on the refueling station market. We have a, a nice cooperation with Arriva and we, we have successfully sold our first bus refueling station. And with ZBT, the mob fuel project is also very interesting to solve the infrastructure problem. Of, of the hydrogen because you know, the people want the car but there is no infrastructure and there are many problems to solve and so this is this is interesting and and to make tank systems that's what's also something I would like to do with high level security because I'm very convinced of, of high security that's very important for this market and I think that's where something Unlake has can can bring in Definitely. Um, if you do not have any questions, you can take your... Oh, there is a question. I have time to take one question. I will come down to you. <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Hello, on camera from uh, Robert Bosch, Corporate Research. I have a question concerning your car business, so the pipelines for natural gas. There's also uh, pipelines from hydrogen for many decades. Are there similar problems that you need to repump the hydrogen in the pipelines? And if so, which kind of components are used for that? Um, to be honest, on the hydrogen pipeline, I have not been so much involved, but I can imagine that it's absolutely, like you said, that you have the same problems of, of, of diffusion of gas and, and of, of, of leakage problem pr probabilities. And, and um, yeah, so, so they, they are similar. The, 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 the pipeline transferring the hydrogen by pipeline would, would, would be perhaps, it's an interesting point of view, it's perhaps be better to, than transporting electricity. That's, that's something I, yeah, if I could say I have a vision, is, is if you imagine the, all the wind parks in the North Sea and the Baltic Sea, and instead of having, of having, of having electrical current which is traveling through Germany, you just have a pipeline, hydrogen pipeline. There's one existing, yeah, and and it's so it's fee technically feasible. And then you just bring the hydrogen down towards Munich, and and there you build up a refueling station based on this hyd hydrogen. This would be perfect. But the the core business of uh, core business of Anik, to come back to your question is really to do installations which are install, installed on the compressor stations of, 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 this, of this pipeline and which are taking care that no hydrogen leakage can occur, occur in, in, this, in this station to, to keep the system safe. Thank you very much. Our time is almost coming to an end. Is there anything that you would like to tell the audience? Yeah, hopefully that the business with hydrogen will grow and that we will have a lot of cars on the road and a lot of refueling stations soon. <laughs> I hope so too. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Jan Andreas, Managing Director of Anleg GmbH. Thank you. <clears throat> you can stay seated. You can have another drink on the house. It's all on me. I invite you to have a complimentary drink. Uh, our upcoming talk will be regarding the build-up of charging infrastructure in Germany. We'll be talking about the status quo. And for that, uh, we will welcome Mr. Palash, the Head of Program Recharging Infrastructure at the NOV GmbH. You can stay seated. It will start just in a few minutes' time.